Sharks. I'm Laren Lockwood, and I'm from Burnett, Texas. I'm here seeking $150,000 in exchange for 15% equity in my company, Lion Latch. Sharks, some of our most valuable and sentimental possessions in life happen to also be some of the easiest to lose. Let's say, for example, your wedding ring. Help! I lost my wedding ring, and I can't find it anywhere. Oh, Look no. at poor Maggie. She's lost her ring, and she searched her bags, the dirty laundry, and now she's resorted to dumpster diving in the trash in search for her precious ring. Maggie, all of this could have been avoided if you just had a lion latch. What's a lion latch? Only the best thing ever, a small, secure container to safely store your items. So whatever goes into this little cutie, you can rest assured nothing is getting out. Try it for yourself. Simply place your ring inside the container. Slide the lid on over the stem and lock into place with the carabiner ring by sliding it through that little hole at the top of the stem. Lion Latch helps you store your beloved items safely and securely. You never have to panic again. So sharks, who's ready to lock in a deal with Lion Latch and say goodbye to losing the small valuables you love? Thanks for the Lion Latch, Laren. See you, sharks. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 What's to uh, stop you from losing the Lion Latch? Great question, Barbara. I actually made this so you could attach it to your keys, and then you can keep it in your purse or your backpack, your gym bag. The rings aren't just floating around in your bag. Mr. Wonderful, what you got in there? Did you get I, it open? I, are these hearing aids? They are. <laughs> Thank you. I've been waiting 13 seasons to get those to you. Why He's do out. I need these? Mm. Oh, for your listening skills. Thank you. Yes, Whoa. you're welcome. It really endears me to you. I'm just it's going to help you get a deal with me. Not. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so tell me That's a, that was a great pitch though i uh i you know i, I never expect the surprise trash can nobody expe expects the surprise trash can um i love the idea uh i'm curious as how much they sell the plastic and the latch ring for uh, uh i can't imagine it's too expensive it's plastic and a little bit of metal so if that's the case uh if it's like a ten dollar item it's not not bad. I could see selling a lot of these, but I think uh, it could be a while before somebody were to get their money out, uh, even at 15% for 150000 which might put a damper on it. But you know what won't put a damper? It's sticking around to the end to see which comment is being featured from down below. How did you come up with this idea? I am a teacher and a coach, and I was newly engaged, and I was coaching softball. And despite the fact my athletes have to take off their jewelry for athletics, I thought I was an exception to the rule. I never wanted to take this ring off. And I caught a ball, and it flattened my engagement ring into my finger. Wow. And then it knocked out a diamond, and I didn't Ooh. find the diamond. Everyone has some kind of lost jewelry story. And so this dumpster reenactment is a story that I get very frequently. I originally 3D printed this for myself, and then other oh, teachers sweet. and coaches and my student athletes wanted one. Well, it was going to be $30 to 3D print one for everyone. So why not manufacture it? So have you sold any of them? I've done 530000 What? To yeah. date. Yes. And that's over what period of time? Uh, five years. Okay. okay. What have you sold in the last 12 months? Okay. In the last 12 months, I've done, let's see, last year I did 230 k and I grossed 54. Netted. You netted yes. 54. Yes, I netted 54. Not yes, bad. Sir. And how much did you put into the business to begin with? I didn't put any of my own money in it, actually. So you own 100% of this product. I do. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, a Texas, that's Texas proud right there. Are you still working your job or I'm are you actually, just doing this? I made the tough decision this year to resign from teaching. What do you charge for one of these things? Wholesale for five, retail for 10. And what does it cost you to make one? About a buck 50. About 50? Wow. Okay. okay. But that's, that's I've had bad. such a struggle with manufacturers, y'all. I've had three different manufacturers. They couldn't keep up with the demand. My family and my friends were driving to Dallas to pick up product and bring it home to me as I'm packing the orders. Why? The reason I didn't have them putting it directly in a package and shipping is because I needed it to come to me so I could do a second round of quality control. That's crazy. Anyway, I, that's why I'm here. Oh, Personally packing not... one product at a time. Yes, I'm... yes, but the quality control is everything. Look. It doesn't take much for people to write a negative review of your uh, product, right? It, if it happen, it can happen on like literally anything. Like, oh, Amazon didn't ship the product. Uh, blah blah blah, one star. And it's like that has nothing to do with the product. All of a sudden, you know. Um, and the other thing is, is you know, when they when you pick up a batch of something, um, you you know, like oh, the original ones are great, but then all of a sudden you have like a minor issue, like. 
the cap is a little too big or a little too small and doesn't quite fit together the way it's supposed to. And you're like, well, the, the ones they made for me originally, they were good. The sample ones that I got, you know, uh, from each batch were fine. But then all of a sudden we have a hundred, 200, a thousand go out and there's a, that's a, you know, becomes a huge problem. Um, now with that said, this is a $10 item. This isn't like a hundred dollar item or, or something of that effect. So I don't think it's the end of the world, but if she's shipping out that many of them, it, like you, you, you potentially like, oh, we shipped out two thousand of them today. Awesome, they were all broken, and I didn't know about it. And my customers are really upset. And like, I have a lot of customers out of that two thousand. Maybe, maybe it's just like twenty people that are like actually mad or upset about it. The rest of them don't say anything. But those twenty send really bad uh, reviews. That's going to be a real problem for you to have to mop up. So I, I. I get it, uh, but it, that's that is definitely not scalable. Still doing that. How, How are you fast? possibly going to scale if you have to sleep seven hours a day? I quit teaching, Kevin. You're missing this part. I did all that full time. No, teaching. I got the quit. I just gave you those hearing aids. I'm full time. Put those in. <laughs> 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 you know what? He's got to love you. <laughs> so it sounds like you need to hire somebody to solve all these problems for you. I just want to give you money. Yes, and I want you to go take it and turn it into your, more. Right? And then I get more money. This is a struggle, though, for all women that wear rings, but it can be used for money, right? Mr. Wonderful, money, okay? I got it. Right? No, 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 it's really good. Yeah, so you if your nails done, you got to take off your rings. Don't just drop them in your purse. Are you going to work out? Don't just leave it no, on the floor. No, I'm not. People, I'm I going to say sorry. to I'm you, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm sorry. I'm out. I'm so sorry. What you've accomplished is amazing. Thank you. I just don't see this becoming the 10, 20, 50 million dollar in sale business. And unfortunately, for that reason, I'm hopeless. Ah, uh, that's that's that that that's disappointing. Uh I, I think it's a I think it's a great thing. I, I think that she got to get the manufacturing thing solved so that she doesn't have to pack each in individually by herself. And then she can, you know, scale this pretty quickly. I mean, the ding ding for the amount of, of, uh, business, you know, or, or I'm sorry, dollars that she's done. Absolutely incredible. But, uh, but it definitely, you know, $150,000 is, is a lot to ask even at 15%. I I'm, I'm, I think it's going to be difficult for her to get a deal, but we're going to check out her website at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Look, I, I actually really admire your tenacity. I think you come on and completely lit this stage up. I'm not that interested in this on its own. And so I think for that reason, I'm out. Mm. Thank you. Emma. You know what? Your only problem is you don't have good manufacturing. Correct. Not good enough. You need a manufacturer that you can rely on. And there's plenty of factories out there that need work, but it's not really an investable business for me, I don't think, but it can be a great one for you and you only have to solve one problem and you can do it. You will do it. So I'm sorry to say uh, I wish you the best, but I'm out. Thank you, Lori. Ah, uh, that's terrible. Well, I, I just want you to know, I've been working on this for five years, you know, the blood, sweat and tears, teaching all day, coming home, trying to spend some time with my family and then staying up late and packing orders. And I really came here with the hopes that y'all would help me. As I'm watching you, you're like that's the, that's the that's the uh, the tenacity, then the ferocity, feroc ferocity that you need to have when you're building your business. You know, you you gotta be all in, and when the chips are down, you have to be willing to swing the bat, and that is what she's doing. You know, working that job uh, as a teacher, coming home and putting this together. I, I'm I'm kind of surprised they haven't um, they didn't throw around the uh, the term that I mean it's been a little while since I've heard it but the this is a product not a business and and I, I they kind you know Lori kind of got into that a little bit like it's great for you because um, again when you're selling a ten dollar item people only need so many of them you know if, especially if they don't break so the the the, the market cap is only is only going to be so high. Uh, she's going to hit, you know, she's going to hit a, a, a bit of a wall at some point. Um, and that, and, and a $10 item, that's where it becomes like, oh, well that, that's a, that's a thing. But yeah, no, I, I, I love, I, I love the idea and I love that she's so passionate and I love the fact that she's able to sell it for $10 and make a great profit on it. Oh, you can hang on that bone, keep coming back, keep coming back. Uh, that's a rare quality, and it says to me you should be an entrepreneur. Thank you. But your business is too small. I'm sorry, but I'm but I'm out. Too small. 
We wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you. That's terrible. I will check out our website here in a minute. I expected to get a deal, so I'm a little sad about that. But my plan is to go back home and get to work. Good. Ding, ding. That is exact. If you want to come on the show, I'd love to have you come on and, and talk about your experience. Uh, hey, let's check out our website. So she's got a pr proudly featured on ABC's The View and proudly featured on uh, GMA. I, you know, I always love to see faces and uh, not seeing the faces here. I like the fact that it's showing the product. It's showing how, uh, you know, what the product could be used for and how it is used uh, on like a key key ring there. Uh, you got a nice video. I love that you have so many different colors. You know, people love to have matching stuff. I like the fact that you have the little uh, dimple in the middle so you can, like, lock the ring in there so it, it's not completely flapping around uh, every which way. But uh, that that is awesome. I'd, I'd love to have it. It's, apparently, it was, it was funded on uh, Kickstarter, which is a great way uh, to get started. Let's see. Uh, let's go Twitter. There is 623 followers. Last time was uh, June, though. I bet you Instagram is going to be the winner. 30, 3,867 followers. Uh, please go on Shark Tank. Uh, this is genius. So, yeah, I mean, some, some good in, um, Instagram engagement going on. Lots of comments uh, on some of these posts. And uh, just you know, just doing doing what she needs to do, and swinging uh, when the when the the chips are chips are down there. There you go. That's the that's ninety three thousand followers on uh, on TikTok with three point five million likes. I bet you that's where a majority of her her sales are coming out of. Um, she's just knocking it knocking it out of the park here. Uh, they, she has a YouTube channel showing how to use it. Yeah, you know, it's kind of for just video purposes, uh, archival purposes. Let's check out Facebook. So the Facebook page that you're linking to off your website uh, apparently is broken. I don't know if, I mean, it should be slash line latch. It sounds, sounds like a good link to me, but uh, hopefully you can get that fixed. Oh, you have a basketball line latch. See, now that's, see, now that's a great glow in the dark one. See, that's a great way to have a, um, you know, to boost your sales, you know, to increase the amount per customer is to have have something that stands out, right? The glow in the dark for 15, the, the basketball one for 15, uh, selling a three pack uh, or, or five pack, you know, that it, that that is that is good. I, I definitely applaud that. Just like I applaud getting comments from other Shark Tank business owners down below, like the original uh, original stretch lace. Hey, Super Joe Pardo. Thanks for watching. Had fun watching your video. Thank you. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in one of these videos over here. Take care.